Hey YouTube, it's Nyam Nappy, and for this week we are going to be making a green apple pie soap. Because to me it smells like green apples and it smells absolutely amazing. And this soap is rich in apples, moringa powder, and oats. Now the apples contain alpha hydroxy acids, which helps to nourish your skin, helps to reduce blemishes and aging. The oats, you know, are great. They contain beta-glucan and B vitamins. They help fight eczema. They nourish the skin, improve the elasticity of the skin. And moringa powder, we know it's rich in vitamins A, vitamin C, vitamins E. It's a ton of antioxidants. Again, good for reducing blemishes and improving the overall appearance of your skin. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But don't forget to subscribe, y'all. We are doing skincare videos on usually Saturdays, even though I know I'm dropping this on Sunday. But you know, sometimes life happens. But let's go ahead and get mixing, okay? Okay, you guys, we're going to begin with our lye water solution. Whenever you're dealing with fresh fruits and purees, you want to make sure you start this first so that your lye solution can cool all the way down. We'll be pouring out 145 grams of lye and then measuring out 170 grams of water. Now you want to make sure when you're using lye, you always wear protective goggles and protective gloves and protective clothing to make sure you do not burn yourself, okay? This is very caustic, so when you pour it, the temper is actually going to heat up. It's an exothermic reaction, so it's going to produce a ton of heat. Okay, so you want to set this to the side for at least 45 minutes to an hour so that the mixture cools all the way down. Now we're going to add 30 grams of our kaolin clay. It helps to bind the essential oils or fragrance oils that you use. Now y'all, I lost the footage, but I added 66 grams of my hot baked apple pie scent. Now to me, this smells like, like candy green apples. And we're going to begin pouring our oils. Now we wanna melt down the shea butter. So we're gonna start with this first. We're gonna measure out 100 grams of my shea butter and then set it onto the stove to melt down. Once that has melted, we're gonna go in with 350 grams of olive oil, 300 grams of coconut oil, we're gonna add 120 grams of babasu oil, Next, we'll add 80 grams of avocado oil and 50 grams of castor oil. Now, next, we'll be adding 100 grams of Mott's applesauce. You want to make sure you get the kind that has no sugar added. Now, apples are rich in vitamins A, B, E, and many antioxidants that help to keep your skin elastic and youthful. It helps to remove the appearance of wrinkles and improves the overall texture of your skin. Now, just like the pumpkin spice video we did, we added this right to the oil phase and we'll be blending to make sure it's thoroughly incorporated before adding our lye. Now we'll be adding our lye water to our oil mixture. Now again, make sure you have your goggles on and make sure you do not breathe this in and go ahead and pour this down the stick blender. Then we're going to blend for about 30 seconds. Next, we'll be adding in our 20 grams of oats and 20 grams of moringa powder. Now, oats contain beta-glucan and other B vitamins that contain anti-inflammatory properties and treat dry skin. Now, moringa powder helps to fight free radical damage to the skin and helps reduce wrinkles and blemishes to help you look younger. Now, blend the mixture gently for about 20 more seconds to make sure it's fully incorporated. Now we're going to go in with our fragrance and kaolin clay. And remember, this is going to speed up trace very, very quickly. So I'm going to pour this in and then kind of stir this with the stick blender first. And then only blend to incorporate for about 10 seconds. Because this is going to make the batter get really, really thick fast. So you want to make sure you have everything else set up to dump into the mold as quickly as possible. So 
So y'all know I'm going to be doing a very simple design just using my butter knife to make these little ridges in this soap. Very similar to how we did the pumpkin spice soap as well. And then I'll be adding oats just to the top of the soap, trying to place it as neatly as possible. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Moringa powder right on top of the oats just to give it a little bit of, you know, green flavor to this. Finally, we're going to spritz this with alcohol. Now we do this to prevent soda ash on top. Then we're going to cover this and set this to the side for about 24 hours before cutting. All right, after 24 hours, I pop this out of the mold and put this into my soap cutter. Now I'm gonna take off just a small portion of the front of this. As you guys can see, it's a little bit funny from how I poured it into the mold as the, the batter was already thickening up some. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the soaps right away. Y'all, the room smells amazing. My husband and my dog both came out looking at me like, what are you, what are you cooking? What are you cooking? Uh, only to be disappointed that I was actually just making soap. But it kind of smells like green apple and, and pie at the same time. I just want to, you like, kind of just want to eat whatever this is. But trust me, do not, do not eat it, okay, y'all? These soaps are actually coming out really beautiful. I love the green color on top with the nice oats as a little bit of decoration as well. Y'all look how beautiful these soaps came out. I absolutely love, love, love them. Okay guys, I hope you guys really enjoy the soaps. They smell amazing. Now they'll be available on my website, www.nowiamnappy.com. The link will be in the description box. Now they'll be available the week of November 23rd, the week of Black Friday, y'all, okay? They'll drop earlier in the week. And if you guys are subscribed to my website, you'll get some other discounts. So <laughs> subscribe. Make sure you guys share with any of your friends who are interested in making soaps or just enjoy a good soap video. Also, I want to comment about my lipstick. I got this from Lip Revolt, okay, y'all? This color is called Insurgent. It is a bomb. Um, it's matte but moisturizing I just had to throw that in there I actually purchased this on my own because you know I'm trying to support black owned businesses right now give back to the communities um, so if you guys have any people you know who are selling lipsticks makeup jewelry y'all know I love a good piece of jewelry now this this little number I got here this um, I got in Morocco so no there's no link for where I got it but I feel like we're in COVID so I was like let me just throw on something kind of cute right um, but that's it for this week y'all next Saturday we We'll be making bath palms. It's gonna be super, super fun. So stay tuned and keep posted for my skincare videos on Saturdays. But that's it for this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.